Are you one of those persons who describes yourself as an anarchist without ever looking up what an anarchist is? I am teetering on the edge of 57 years and still play with bubbles. Would you take a ride from a clown you didn't know? The black earth I saw in the cornfields of Monmouth, Illinois in 2005 was more beautiful than the paintings I exhibited at their college. Mom called yesterday to thank me for the Easter card I gave her in 1987. My daughter tries and tries again to clean the black ink off my right forefinger. I believe in God and his burning bush. Do you think heroin should be sold in pharmacies? How many jokers do you know who juggle on Jupiter? I purchased a monogram Christmas stocking for my mom Joyce last year. After I stuffed it with gifts and gave it to her, she asked me why I purchased a stocking decorated with the letter K. I told her they were out of the ones stamped with J and chose K because K is for kind. What would you rather eat, a lollipop or a light bulb? My dad made mailboxes for a company named Superior Marine Products during the mid to late 1970s. I loved it when we would be out somewhere and he would point and say, there's a Superior mailbox. I was always afraid we would get harassed because dad's a rock star. I started reteaching myself how to play the bass guitar, and learning and playing the scales is absolute nirvana. One of my favorite books is The Open Mind by J. Robert Oppenheimer. It is a collection of eight lectures about the relationship between science and culture. I found a paperback copy in a used bookstore. It was sandwiched, unseen, between two coffee table books. Did Oppie put it there for me to find? Is it possible to calculate how many sheets of paper I have used? I like quirky. In 1988, my mom saw a spaceship the size of a football field fly over her house. I dance with time versus wrestle with it. I arranged the color wheel upside down and backwards for a painting in 2003. 33 years ago, Artist Jackie Windsor sat down on a folding chair in my studio at the School of Visual Arts, looked at my precisely painted large-scale portraits, looked at me, looked back at the portraits and said, you, you are a volcano about to erupt. I want the bus with wheels turning round and round to get a flat tire. Do you know where I can purchase a dozen Xenopus eggs? I wear a Yeti costume when I perform my prose poetry because when I dress as a zombie, my audience suspects I 
am the prophet for the apocalypse.